Hi everyone! Today's session is about subtraction without regrouping. This is Teacher Angel and welcome to Math in You! The learning goals of today's topic is to subtract 1s from a number, subtract 10s from a number, and to subtract 1s and 10s from a number without regrouping. Are you ready? Great! So, how do we subtract numbers without regrouping? Okay, we will find out the answer to this question as we go along with our discussion. So, stay tuned. Alright. Okay, subtracting 1s from a number. Let's say we have... 28 minus 3 equals n. So we can answer this using this method. We count back from 28. Let's say this is our 28. So we will count we will count back three times. Okay, before 28, what's the number? 27. Very good. That's the first time. And then before 27? Yes, it's 26. Second time. And then before 26? Right. It's 25. So, see, 28 minus 3 equals 25. Alright. So, let's answer this using the second method, which is the base 10 blocks. So, let's represent 28, 2 tens, and 8 ones. Right. Okay, let's write the subtraction sentence in vertical form. So, what is the first step? Great. We will subtract the ones, right? Just like in addition, we sub we added the ones digit, right? The digit in the ones place. So just like in subtraction, we will do the same thing. We will subtract the ones. Okay. So eight minus three. Let's take away three from eight. Okay. One, two, three. So how many are left? Five. Very good. Now, what is the second step? Yes, it is to subtract the tens. Very good. So, 2 minus nothing. Right. So, it's still 2. Okay. Now, we can also use the number bonds. We can break 28 into 20 and 8. And then, subtract 8 and then 3, that is 5. So, 20 plus 5 is 25, right? Okay, so 28 minus 3 equals 25. Very good. Okay, let's have another example. What is the difference of 36 and 4? So, when you say difference, we are looking at the answer. That's the answer in subtraction. Okay, we will subtract 36 and 4. Okay? So, this is this is our subtraction sentence. Let's use counting back. We count back from 36. Okay, what's the number before 36? Right, it's 35. And then next, before 35? 34. And then one more. 33 and another. 32. See? 36 minus 4 equals 32. Alright, very good. Now, let's answer this using the second method. Okay, I know you like the second method. Uh, okay, so 36, we have 3 tens and 6 ones. Right, okay, so let's write it. Let's write the subtraction sentence in vertical form. So let's subtract the ones. 6 minus 4 is? Okay, let's take away 4 from 6 first. 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many are left? 2. Very good. And let's subtract the tens. Alright, so 3 minus nothing. 0. Okay, so it's still 3. Okay, remember children that when you subtract a number by 0, let's say 3 minus 0, 4 minus 0 is 4, 3 minus 0 is 3, 8 minus 0 is 8, that is, the answer is always the number itself, alright? So, let's apply the number bonds, let's break 36 into 30 and 6, 
and then 6 minus 4 is 2, right? So, 36 minus 4 is equal to 32. Okay, alright, let's continue. Let's subtract tens from a number. Let's say we have 45 minus 20 equals 10. So, let's use counting back. This time, we will count back in tens from 45. Say we have 45, we count back in tens. So, that is tens, right? 30, 45, then 35, the difference is 10. And then, one more 10, so it becomes 20. 35 and then minus 10 is 20, right? So, 45 minus 20 is 25. Okay, now let's apply the second method using the base 10 blocks. So, 45 is 4 tens and then 5 ones. Let's write it in vertical form. And let's subtract the ones. That's the first step, children. Okay, remember that. 5 minus 0 is? Okay, still 5. Very good. And then, the second step is to subtract the tens. So, 4 minus 2. Let's take away 2 from 4. So, 1 ten, 2 ten. So, how many left? 2. Very good. So, the answer is 25. Alright. Okay. Let's have another example. Let's say subtract 30 from 58. Okay. Remember, children, you see there the word from. In our previous video, okay, I mentioned that if it's from, 30 will be the subtrahend and 58 will be the minuend because if you will write 30 minus 58, the answer will be different, okay? Alright, so we will write 58 minus 30 equals N, okay? Let's use the first method. We count back in tens from 58, okay? So 58 minus 10, 48, right? And then minus 10 is 38 so it's 20 and then one more so it will become 30 so it's 28 right 38 minus 10 is 28 so 58 minus 30 children is equal to 28 all right now let's apply using the second method this is your favorite right yes okay let's represent 58 using the base and blocks we have five tens and then eight ones all right let's write it in vertical form let's subtract the ones eight minus zero is eight and then let's subtract the tens all right so let's take away three from five one two three how many are left two so there 58 minus 30 is equal to 28 very good all right let's have another one Let's subtract 1s and 10s from a number. Let's say we have 39 minus 17 equals N. So this time, we will not be using counting back anymore. It is best to use the second method. Okay, 39. Let's represent that. 3 9, 3 tens, I mean, and then 9 ones. Alright, so let's write it in vertical form. Let's subtract the ones. Alright, so 9 minus 7, let's take away 7 from 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many are left? 2. Very good. Now next is to subtract the tens. 3 minus 1, let's take away 1, 10. And then how many left? 2. Very good. So 39 minus 17 equals 22. Okay, let's have one more example for this. Find the difference of 46 and 14. Okay, difference. So, we will subtract 46 and 14. Okay, let's use this method, the base 10 blocks. 4 tens and then 6 ones. Write it in vertical form. Subtract the ones. 6 minus 4. Let's take away 4 ones from 6. Okay, there, 4. So it's 2, right? And then subtract the tens. 4 minus 1. Let's take away 1 10 from 4 tens. Ok. 
Okay, so it's 32. Alright. Okay, 46 minus 14 is equal to 32. Alright. So, do you understand how to subtract numbers without regrouping children? Okay, so I think it's time for you to practice. Okay, so get your pen and paper and answer these exercises. You can use any method, any method that you like. Okay, one minute. Alright, starts now. Go! Okay, time is up. Alright, let's check. Number 1, 44 minus 10 is... Okay, right, it's 34. 37 minus 5, yes, it's 32. 50 minus 40, 10. 19 minus 4, yes, it's 15. And 29 minus 18 is 11. Very good, children. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. 